Welcome to the Ancient Alternative View. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Good day to all watching the Ancient Alternative View, the place where everyone's opinion matters. Remember, the truth has been hidden and covered for many years, so all theories to our ancient past are on the table. I look forward to hearing your views. Please like, comment and subscribe below. Thank you. When one thinks of the most ancient cultures that we can study, people tend to look at the ancient Egyptians, the ancient Greeks and so on. But there are other cultures, mysterious in origin, that have left legacies with valuable artefacts covered with unknown, undecipherable script. These artefacts have been excavated from sites in southeast Europe. The Vinchar culture that flourished from around 7500 BC to 3000 BC was from Yugoslavia and Western Romania and derived its name from the village of the Vinchar, located on the banks of the Danube River, only 14 to 20 kilometers from Belgrade itself. Another part of the Vinchar legacy are curious masks and most informative costumed figurines depicting women in extremely modern clothes like ourselves today, such as skirts, Sleeveless upper body panels, complemented with hip belts, aprons, jewellery, shoes, caps, also different hairstyles with bracelets, necklaces and medallions. Now if one is to think about that, that would put this civilization as a very cultured civilization to say the least. Since the language of the Vincha still remains undeciphered, unearthed artefacts literally constitute the only source of this culture that we know. Vinci's living style reminds us literally of our own. They lived in houses which had very complex architectural layouts and several different rooms. Houses faced to the northeast or the southwest and were separated by specific streets. Does that sound familiar, ladies and gentlemen, of the ancient alternative view? The Vinci people had stoves in their houses. This preceded Roman times in the use of this device. They used special holes for rubbish and had the same tradition as we have in burying people in cemeteries. I find this curious, ladies and gentlemen. The development of copper metallurgy is evident during the latter part of the Vinci culture's evolution. Among unearthed artefacts, there have been found a large number of figurines made of clay and other artefacts depicting worship deities and women in miniskirts, short tops also wearing jewellery. It is hard to believe that women had lived several millennia ago and wore miniskirts, unless of course maybe the cult of Mother Goddess was very widespread and reached both southeast parts of Europe and ancient India. Similar, made of ceramic clay figurines of Mother Goddess were found in excavations in Manaharjadaro, located along the Indus River in ancient India, which is now present-day Pakistan. This would mean that women wore modern cloth at least a minimum of 7,500 years ago. The Vincha culture, Europe's biggest prehistoric civilization, points to a metropolis with a great degree of sophistication and a taste for the arts and fashion. An important question is, is the legacy of the Vincha culture an evidence of the ever-known earliest manifestation of the divine power and well-involved and widespread mother goddess worship cult? Naturally, orthodox science proposes a classical explanation to this phenomenon and say that the proto-mother symbol of female fertility is depicted on all prehistoric figurines. Hmm. On many of the artefacts excavated from sites in southeast Europe, there have been found the Vincha symbols. They are very common and were used all throughout the Vincha period. They probably represent the earliest form of writing ever found and predate ancient Egyptian and Sumerian writings by 
thousands of years. Since the inscriptions are all short and appear on objects found in burial sites and the language represented is unknown, it is highly unlikely that this will ever be deciphered. In some way, the Vinci's past is both forgotten and lost. But not while I'm here, ladies and gentlemen, of the ancient alternative view. Are the Vinci the oldest known civilization? I'd love to hear your ancient alternative view. Hello, everyone. Thanks very much indeed for watching today's episode of the Ancient Alternative View. Big plug to ancient history criticisms to Andrew. Where are you, mate? Let's get you back on board, brother. And also, I've got to flow a massive shout out to Florida Marquis. His work on Antarctica has been absolutely superb recently. It doesn't need a shout out from me. Look at that. 10,000, 11,000 viewers in the last fortnight. This guy is absolutely brilliant. So get your souls over and go and have a look. Of course, we have to go and have a shout out to the main man, Dr. Charles Koss and his latest work. Hello, doctor. Wishing you all the very best. And also, Dave. Dave, I've got to catch up with you soon, mate. I haven't been very well recently, so I'll catch up with everything. So just bear with me. And all the very best to you. And also Chuck, always best in the business this man. CFAP 7865. Thanks very much indeed for watching today. We've got a massive shout out to Kaylee Elson, who's been teaching me some new editing tricks. So please leave in the comments everything you think about today's episode because uh, this is the way we're going in future. So thanks very much indeed to Kaylee. And uh, thank you very much indeed for watching. Remember, there's always an ancient alternative view. Thank you for watching.